Hi, Saggy. Welcome to your October reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You can check out your other placements for additional messages, as these are general readings. Messages may or may not resonate. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for the next person. I said resonates twice. Oops. Okay, so Mercury retrograde officially. My words may be fumbling and mumbling, <laughs> so just bear with me. Uh, it always hits me hard, but I was born during Mercury retrograde, so I, I always use that as an excuse. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of October. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you can expect. Get some insight with some guidance. Overall, see what's happening for my saggies. I hope you guys are doing great. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetarot. And let's get into it, starting off with some animal oracle messages for Saggy, Summer and Ising Venus, in October 2021. What messages do my Sagittarians need to hear? And I need wisdom guidance for Saggy, Summer and Ising Venus. I want to say year ahead. What? <laughs> Week ahead. Week? No. This is, oh my god, where am I? What am I? What? <sighs> Month ahead. <laughs> oh lord, Okay. Messages from Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus for October 2021. One more, okay. Message, okay, the deck feels stuck all of a sudden. I don't want to take that because I feel like that was me. All right, messages, okay, all right, Hawk, air energy coming out. Any messages for Saggy, someone rising Venus? Okay, the bee and scorpion. Okay, so double air and a little dash of fire. And we also have the fox at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so there could be some changes regarding your work. Um, circumstances, like you're very busy, you're very focused, you're very determined, you're good at, you know, you're a team player. You may also be... Um, a leader, right? But, you know, you get shit done. But there's something that's changing here with the hawk. This normally talks about sudden shifts or sudden change in direction. You know, taking a, a hard left turn after going straight for so long or down a path for so long. It's like, oh, er, let's let's go this way. Let's switch lanes. Let's um, change direction. And that could be what's popping up in October. So, you know, there might be a bit of uncertainty when it comes to that. It's important you guys take time to rest and take breaks for yourself. Otherwise, you may end up stinging somebody. That is the energy of the bee, right? You're a busy bee out and about getting things done just talking to people working with people um you know crossing lots of things off your list you know you're very determined very focused you also put your own um uniqueness to whatever it is that you do you always have your own little like signature you're very talented you're very gifted you're very unique you know and so you deserve to receive the recognition for what it is that you do now scorpion coming out there is something that has you a bit fired up this could be things coming up from your past as we are officially in mercury retrograde murky retro <laughs> um so there could be moments of being triggered or annoyed or frustrated or just very agitated oh god i mean sag i'm a sag moon and i ain't gonna lie i've had some days where i've just been in a moody energy and i'm just like i just need to be alone you know so some of you may benefit from some alone time um time by oneself you know handling your emotions healthy you know finding good outlets creative outlets getting some exercise getting some air really grounding yourself okay so your patience could patience can i speak your patience may also be tested this month um especially if it comes to group projects or working with people um especially when it comes to organization that's just came to mind it's like maybe you're dealing with someone who's a bit disorganized and it's very frustrating at times um Scorpion also does talk about the need for speaking honestly and communicating and even forgiveness. You know, if there are some things from your past coming up, feeling it, recognizing it, dealing with it and working on, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. 
but yeah, there is this sharpness. There is a bit of an edge. And you've had that message come through for a while. Or, it was, you know, maybe not your last reading, but the reading before that. And maybe even the one before that one. <laughs> there's been a few messages that I've had for you guys come up within the last couple months of like, there's a bit of an edge. Check yourself. Take it easy. Take some deep breaths. Take some time out for you. Be alone. Like, you don't want to end up stinging somebody, even if it's by accident. Right? You can't take back what you said. Once you said it, there's no going back. So just tread lightly is what I want to say, okay? Hawk does talk about changes, shifts, even communication or some sort of message. Mess. Wow. Message. I want to say messenger and I said message. Messen. Message. Whatever. Some sort of message. So let's pull some tarot messages, see what's happening. For Sagittarius, Summer Nights of Venus in October 2021. Any messages for Sagittarius, Summer Nights of Venus in October 2021? Hmm. I think I want to use my other deck. Just because I'm like, wait, I think I need to use this. I need to use the Santa Moretti for this. Okay. The energy, it does not feel like mermaid tarot <laughs> for you guys. So, I was like, okay, we'll swap it. All right, messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus in October 2021. Any messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus for October 2021. And what's going on for my Saggies, please? Saggies, summarizing Venus. Any messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus? Okay. Oh, no, too many. But the world tried popping out, so cycle could be changing or closing or shifting. And the messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus. Queen of Cups, selfless, selfless service, helping out, giving out when you can, um, helping others in need. This fell on top, three of swords. Don't let that get taken advantage, right? You help out when you can. You got a huge heart on your sleeve and you help out to many in need but that can also lead to you being used and abused if you're not careful of who you give your energy to right you have this huge heart and there are a lot of people that will gladly take advantage of that if you're not careful and that's just what's coming through here um and even though maybe in the past you've been used and abused that hasn't stopped you from being a loving and caring person you still have that huge heart and you know you're not going to let your past you know, dictate where you are in your own life and where you're moving. You're not going to shrink your heart or close yourself up forever. But let's just see what else needs to come out. Okay, so there's two different ways we can look at this. It's like you either being taken advantage of because you got this huge heart and you gave your heart to the wrong person, right? They gave your heart away. Or this is um, talking about, you know, you've gone through pains, hurts, and betrayals, and yet you still have this huge heart to give. So, either or, I guess. Um, messages for Sagittarius. Summarizing Venus in October 2021. Temperance reverse. That fell on top of the Three of Swords. So, unfairness, inequality, imbalance. What's the word? Inconsistencies? That's not what I was thinking, but yes, inconsistent. Uh, messagey, mes messages? <laughs> Yo, my words, messages for Saggy, messages, <laughs> messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus for October, you guys, I don't know what's going on with my words in this reading, yo, alright, messages for Saggy, <laughs> Ten of Wands tried flipping out, messages for Saggy, summarizing Venus, <laughs> I still got the giggles messages. <laughs> okay. Um, Six of Pentacles. Something about the timing. Yeah, and that's a hawk as well. Divine timing. And <sighs> Four of Cups. Okay, and at the bottom we have Judge, sorry, Justice, Magician, and the Tower, as well as Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I'll keep that there. Okay. Okay. Libra energy, Scorpio coming out, got some water energy, Cancer, Sag, your energy coming through. Yeah, so there's a bit of an imbalance, and I think you're getting frustrated over that. Or maybe 
imbalance in the areas you're giving your energy to. It's like you've been giving, 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 giving. But there has... Wait! Okay, this is a six. Oh my god, you guys, I swear. I was like, is this a six or the nine? This is a six. I, for some reason in this deck, I always get the sixes and the nines mixed up. Um, I always have to like double check and look at it from the side to make sure. Anyways, so something about the timing of things. Like you've been putting energy into your work, into your connections, into things. And some of you feel as if there's been an imbalance and it leads to discouragement, kind of feeling just stuck, feeling not good enough, feeling bored, wondering, like, am I even worthy? You know, there, there's some doubt here. Feeling a little blue, feeling a little heavy. I do think that your perception is key here. When we look at the tower, right, there's many different angles you can look at these situations that you go through. You can look at it in a pessimistic point of view you can look at it optimistic you can look at it like glass half full glass half empty or both sides you know i think perception is really key here and it's important that you guys remain open-minded you might just not be seeing the full picture right now okay even with temperance reverse there could be some impatience right let's ignore that three of swords okay for the, let's just talk about these cards itself okay it's like You've been putting in the work, nothing's happening, time's moving slowly, it's like washing paint dry, wondering when is my time coming, your time is coming, it's just much slower than you anticipated, but yet, in your perspective, and your feelings are valid, Sag, you're like, well shit, maybe this isn't meant for me, maybe I should give up now, maybe this is just how it's supposed to be but we have justice coming out and the magician so be mindful of what you think what you think you attract and i also gotta say that for myself because i've been slipping into these ways too you know at times i i'm gonna lie right <laughs> lots of us do um our mind and how we think and how, what we tell ourselves really does have a huge impact on what we attract what we radiate what we put out you know when we start doubting ourselves when we really sink into that energy and we think of like worst case scenario and we really get in our head or feel discouraged like it's okay to feel discouraged it's a feel it's okay to feel you know sad it's okay to feel these ways but to not let yourself be in it for too long there is going to be a shift especially as we are in libra season and we actually have mercury retrograding in libra and it's going to bring a lot of balance so the scales are going to be balancing this month it should or you, you may start to see the shift this month of um, things being brought into balance or like, you know, all of your effort that you've been investing and you feel as if there's been inconsistencies, you feel like as if you haven't been met in the middle, that's coming. It's coming. Especially this month, you're going to start to see the, um, the scale shift, you know, from the imbalance to, okay, let's, let's balance this shit out. Um, so it's really just a matter of time. So be very aware of what you're telling yourself, how you're thinking. Be aware of your thoughts, okay? You're in manifestation mode. Always. But this is just a little friendly reminder, Sag. What you think you attract. Your mind's a magnet. You don't want to self-sabotage, especially because you have the Ace of Pentacles underneath the tower. It's like you've got some really solid shit coming in. Finances are going to look great. You're going to be feeling much more stable, much more confident in control of where you're at. You know, unexpected money, raises, things like that. It's going to be pretty promising. So don't get in your way just now. Okay. You know, maybe this is like a bit of a, a test with Mercury retrograding. It's bringing up things from our past, certain cycles, certain mindsets, even people from our past. But just overall in general, we are in the thick of lots of retrogrades, lots of planets retrograding. I think there's like six or seven. Whew, it's a tough, tough time. But it's also very transformative if we integrate this energy. So lots of lessons are being learned. Or it's basically like show what you know. And I've been saying that for many signs recently. It's like show what you know. It's exam time. You've done the studying. You've got some experience. Now it's time to apply what you've learned. Okay? So if this was a cycle that you've been on the past of self-sabotage or... Um, you know, block yourself getting your own way or getting impatient and giving up and quitting. It's like this is um, like that final push to see 
if you're truly ready for what's yet to come. So, yeah. Now, Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. I mean, could this, how can we tie this in here? If you have been betrayed, if you have been hurt, backstabbed, backstabbed by anybody, there's going to be consequences. There always is. Simply, every action has a reaction. I could knock this candle over and my house could go on fire, right? That's a reaction to my action. Same with how you speak to yourself. If you are kind to yourself, if you give yourself that love, that appreciation, you're going to probably feel much more happier, much more like fuller. You talk bad to yourself, you beat yourself up, you just talk shit to yourself, you're probably going to feel really crappy, right? Everything has an influence, an impact. So just be aware of that. Um, are these... Oh, I think those are ants. Ants. Why am I drawn to the ants on this card? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, well, ants, they are team players. Kind of like the bee, right? They pollinate as well. Very quick. Now, the fire ant in the animal spirit deck does talk about the need to cool off a bit of agitation. So just take breaks again when you need to. So I'm just going to do a little clarifying. I am curious about, like, this Queen of Cups, Three of Swords. Let's take a look into this Three of Swords. Just because I am, like, curious. Okay, is there anything else about this? Try the Three of Swords for Sagittarius, Summer Night Venus. October 2021. Can you try the Three of Swords for Saggy? Three of Swords? Okay. Knight of Cups. Five of Wands. Time the Three of Swords for Saggy. Thank you. Ten of Wands reverse. So this is something that you're needing to work through releasing. We also have the Emperor. Uh, three of Wands. Seven of Wands reverse. Oh, some of you want... Um, you want justice. Like, you want... Where are my words? Revenge. Some of you simply want revenge for someone who's hurt you, especially if they've done something really, like, unforgivable. And that's the thing with Scorpion, right? Because I was mentioning forgiveness, and for some, it's like, I can never forgive this person. And it's just like, whatever someone may have done to you, it's, like, unforgivable. <sighs> but you're needing to somehow free yourself from this because holding on to what had happened it's not going to change anything it's not going to change what happened to you it's just going to keep you stuck on this loop over and over and over unable to move on and even possibly attracting similar situations okay like some of you want justice but the thing is it's like justice is already being served here you need to just focus on you, your own lane. So don't sink down to this person's level. Trust me, it's not worth it. You don't have to be the bigger person. Simply don't give your energy to those that aren't deserving. This individual is not deserving of any of your energy, not even revenge. What's that saying? What's that saying about rotten apples? Hold on, I have it written in my phone somewhere because I was like, that's an interesting quote. Ah, okay, I have it. I found it. Revenge is unnecessary. Spoiled fruit will fall on its own. Don't take revenge. The rotten fruit will fall themselves, okay? So that's the little message. It's like the fallen fruit. No, the spoiled fruit will fall. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. Anyways. I saved that quote in my phone because I was like, damn, that's interesting. And um, that was like many months ago. It just came to mind. I was like, I gotta say it. So yeah, don't forget it. Revenge isn't necessary, Sag. You focus on you. You focus on your lane. Okay. Um, and let's take a look into Justice and the Magician. And then we 
grab a fairy message. Can I tell about justice and the magician? Oh! All right, tell me about justice and the magician for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus, October 2021. Justice and the magician. Okay, sheesh. Let's try one more. Okay. Kind of justice and the magician for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus, chariot reversed, and eight of pentacles. Anything else for justice and judgment reverse? Okay. Don't give any more energy to the past. Chariot reverse and judgment reversed. You've learned your lessons. You don't need to touch it. Although it may be tempting as it is Mercury retrograde, it's highlighting some things from your past coming up, even people coming back, perhaps. Don't feed it. Don't give any energy to it. Not worth your time. Not worth your energy. Stay in your own lane. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay determined. Keep putting in that effort. Keep showing up. Eight of Pentacles. Focus on the bag. Focus on getting your money back. Get your shit together. <laughs> Keep that up. Right? And as you do that, you're flying higher. Whoever did that shit to you, they stay where they're at. And they're getting their justice. Just as you're going to be getting yours, okay? Alright, let me grab a fairy message. Any fairy messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus for October 2021? Any fairy messages for Sagittarius, please? Any fairy messages for Sagittarius, summarizing Venus in... October 2021. Any fairy messages for Saggy? Someone in Saint Venus in October 2021. Fairy messages for Sag. We have the Retriever. Right. And Singer of Intuition at the bottom, that came out in Gemini's reading. So obviously, be sure to trust your intuition. Your intuition is on point. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Trust your gut. Trust the vibes. <laughs> and also trust the signs, okay? That's number seven. So the retriever. Some of you are retrieving some sort of information or gaining something this month. Retrieving... What are you retrieving? I'll, I'll take a screenshot so I can look at this card as well. Number 41. So adding up to a five, something's changing. As you retrieve some sort of information, it's like what helps you move forward in some sort of way. So this is LB, the retriever. I don't know what I said. I think I just said the retriever. I completely missed his first name. Um, so LB the Retriever actually talks about something that you've been missing for a while or something that maybe you've forgotten about. You're retrieving back. Um, so I'm going to read the book because I'm not too familiar with this card. But um, LB, did I say Ibby or L? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Here we go. Here we go again with me not being able to speak or read. LB is a protector. He retrieves and safeguards our lost hopes, forgotten dreams, and mislaid keys. He holds these seeds of our potential futures carefully and delicately until we're ready for their return. Sometimes we don't think we're ready for them, or we've given up hope altogether, which is so fitting with that four of cups that came out. Like I was saying, some of you have just kind of felt like giving up on something, you haven't been seeing um, results come in, or you feel like undervalued, or you're doubting yourself and just kind of feeling stuck and unmotivated and it's heavy and it sucks and it's just like, why, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, he may rearrange reminders for us events or people in our lives that bring back memories of our past hopes and dreams when that happens we need to look at them again and consider how we might manifest them in reality which is so fitting I was saying that I was saying that with the magician if I can pick it up my book is in the way I can't oh. 
today, man. It's a struggle, and I just bent the card, um, right? But the magician, I was saying how our mindset really does have a huge impact. LB is trying to remind you of something you've lost, a hope, perhaps, or even a dream. You may have thought it was gone forever, but he's holding it out to you for reconsideration. He thinks you can do something with it now. The way may not be obvious, but his clever nose has sent it a path, a potential opening for bringing this into your life. Sometimes, LB might be saying that a long-awaited dream at last is arriving on the scene, and there's nothing we need to do but open our hearts and minds to it. However, we usually have to work for it. Another attribute of LB... LB? LB? <laughs> LB is loyalty. So kind of like what I was saying, no more focusing on the past, not worth your time, not worth your energy. Revenge is not necessary. You got to stay focused on you and your target. Although you may have moments of doubt, of impatience, second guessing yourself, don't give up now. Keep the hard work up. It's a matter of time before the scales balance. And as we are in Libra season, things are going to be balancing out. I promise. So just hang on a little bit longer. It's yours. Okay. So Sag, that is what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at Jadestone Tarot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.